my channel, it's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me. I'm actually running really really late and I need to go. But I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do like these get ready with me's then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I really hope you like this makeup look and let's just get into the video. So I'm going to start off with my eyes. Excuse my skin. We're going to do eyes first though. So. We're gonna have to deal with the poor skin for a little bit. The palette which I'm gonna be using is the Morphe 25A, which is their Copper Spice palette, which came out in the New Year time, and I bought it. It's limited edition, so I'm really sorry if you guys haven't got your hands on it, but I'm sure you can find some similar shades if you wanna recreate this look. Also, pre-warning, my mum and dad are running around the house at the moment doing all sorts of stuff, so if you hear doors opening and shutting and people speaking then I'm really sorry but hopefully it's not too bad um but just pre-warning before we get started so I'm just gonna firstly conceal my eyelids to prime them and then I'll get on to doing some eyeshadow just realized I've forgotten to do my nails which is really annoying but it's too late now to do them, so we're just going to have to deal with short, stubby nails. So I'm just going to quickly set that with a matte white shadow. This is not from the Morphe palette, but I just like using any sort of plain matte white shade to kind of set our eyelid. And I'm just using a huge brush because it's just faster. So the first shadow, what should we take first? So I'm going to take this one up here and run that along our crease area. I think for this look I'm going to keep it quite golden and like bronzy and kind of like a classic sort of simple but dramatic smoky eye. The most recent looks which I have done on my channel are quite themed so they're either really pink or they were really purple. So I think for this one, I'm just going to go back to basics and do a brown smoky eye. I think that's what I'm going to stick to. I'm actually really liking this colour. It's coming across a lot warmer than it looks on the palette, which I really like. I always like slightly warmer shadows, so I really like how this looks at the moment. Okay, so next shade I'm going to take is going to be this one here on the edge, and I'm just going to put that on top of that orange shade which we've already put down. I'm now going to take this one here and darken up our crease and our outer corner as well. Okay, so I just darkened off the sides of my eyes with that shadow there, but my mum and sister were blow drying their hair, so I wasn't able to talk, but but I just used that shadow there on the outer parts of my eyes, as you can kind of see, it's a bit darker. So it's now time for the fun part. I'm going to put the glitter on the inside of my eye. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use glitter. I think I'm going to stick to just one of these eyeshadows in here, but I want to set the base and clear off the eyeshadow first using some concealer. So again, just taking some of my collection concealer, I'm going to put that on, you'll see what I mean, but kind of like a half cut crease, sort of, but not as refined as a half cut crease, if that makes sense. So I firstly just place the concealer on the inner part of my eye and really carefully kind of carve out where I want my half cut crease to be. It's not really a half cut crease, but... So I think I'm going to go for this one on the very inner corner and then maybe use one of the darker ones towards the outside of my eye. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and then I think I'm going to take a combination of these two and use those to blend the highlights and the darker shades together. So 
So I'm firstly going to be priming with a little bit of the Benefit Professional Primer. I'm going to put this on like the centre parts of my face because those are the places where I have the most pores and then I'll put a more illuminating primer on like my cheekbones and stuff. So I'm just going to pop this on my nose, on my cheeks. Just rubbing this in. I love how smooth this makes your skin. Got a bit of a spot but it's one of those spots which is kind of recovering and it's more of like a honestly it's more of like a scab and it's really like dry and horrible so putting this over the top helps and then the primer which I'll use on the rest of my face is the Lumi Magique primer by L'Oreal and I'll just pop this kind of on the outer parts of my face so complicated does this match me probably not foundation we're gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Light Beige. So the event which I'm going to tonight is actually a fundraiser for my sister. She is doing like a year abroad next year so in September she'll be going away um, abroad and she's going to do a whole year with the charity um, Project Trust. Basically what she's doing with them is they are sending her to Swaziland which is in Africa and she will be working in an orphanage or a children's home or something like that helping out whatever she can do so obviously these things cost money so tonight is a big fundraiser for her so she can try and raise some <laughs> like that, to try and raise some money for for that it definitely matches my arms but just not this area this part of me just doesn't tan I always struggle with tanning my chest, it's just so difficult. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Lottie Got It Covered Concealer in the shade Fawn, which is usually my shade, and because I've got fake tan on, it's obviously not my shade, damn it. Um, and this is a really good concealer for covering spots. I'm honestly like, I could not recommend it enough, it has such a good coverage. I don't usually like using it under my eyes because it has a really high coverage, and it's too much for me, but for spots it's perfect. So hopefully this covers what I want it to cover. But as I said, it's a bit lighter because I've got a fake tan on at the moment, so not the best. And then concealer for underneath my eyes, I'm just using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which is nice and light. So this is a fundraiser for my sister. If you do want to maybe donate anything to her, she does have like a GoFundMe page which I'll link down below if you want to check out or if you just want to check out to see what she's going to be doing then you totally can as well but um, yeah so this is just a huge fundraiser we're doing a Kaylee so if you don't know what that is if you're not from Scotland a Kaylee is traditional Scottish dancing basically and although I can't say I'm the most traditional Scottish person ever um, it's definitely a lot of fun just to kind of go to these things. They're always a really big like social occasion. Kaylee's people usually drink quite a lot and just it's a lot of fun. So I need to head down pretty soon. I've got 10 minutes left. Oh my gosh I've got 10 minutes left until I need to leave because I am going to be doing like the tickets. So I need to leave in 10 minutes because I'm the one doing the tickets so I need to be there first to make sure everybody has a ticket and has paid. So Oh my gosh, we need to rush. So for powder, I'm taking the Laura Mercier powder and this is the translucent one. So we're just dusting this underneath my eyes to set my concealer. It's also my friend's 20th, which is crazy because I feel like I only left high school like last year and to be going to people's 20th is insane. Like, I only turned 19 like a couple months ago, but I'm really really young for my year so I'm now going to 20th which is crazy like it's his birthday thing tonight so we're going to the Cayley and all of us are going to the Cayley and then we're gonna head into town afterwards and go to probably probably why not if any of you guys are from Edinburgh and are over 18 then you'll probably know what a why not is it's a nightclub which is underneath the dome but as I said you probably don't know if you're not from Edinburgh um, and the bronzer which I'm using is the Hula bronzer. Sorry, I feel like I'm rushing. Well, I am, but I'm sorry if you guys are annoyed at the fact that I'm rushing. It 
it's a Saturday night, so I really hope my bank account survives, but we will see. And I'm just going to put this down my neck as well, since my foundation is not the best match. Just to try and like, keep everything blended. And I'll do a little bit down here as well. I don't really know how to contour collarbones, nor do I really want to because I'm really slim. I'm not going to do blush here because I want to keep this look really bronzed. So I'm going to head straight to highlighter. I'm going to be using my Glow Kits by Anastasia. And I'm going to take the shade Bubbly, which is the more bronzier one, but not the super dark one. quite impressed about how fast I did those and how they didn't actually turn out too badly so whew. right now I'm gonna go back and finish off my eyes using this palette I'm firstly gonna take the orange shade which we started off with and run that along our lower lash line okay and then I'm just taking a medium tone shade And then I'm just going to take the darkest shade which we used, the dark brown shade, and run that along my lower lash line as well. So I'm now going to take a gel liner and I'm actually going to use this on my waterline because this is waterproof and I want it to last all night. So a really good tip is to just use a gel liner and it doesn't honestly irritate my eyes, I don't find. I remember one of my friends looked at me so weird when I told her to put gel in her waterline, but it honestly works, so if you're looking for something that stays, then use this. I'm not going to do a wing, per se, but I'm going to put a really thin line on my upper lash line, just so that when I do fake eyelashes, they kind of blend much better, so the one which I'm using is by The Body Shop. So I'm now just going to go away and do eyelashes and my mascara because I'm in a bit of a rush and I can't really do them on camera anyway. So I'm going to go away and do those and then I will do lips on camera. So I'll be back in two seconds. And then for lips, I'm just going to quickly finish up and use the MAC Spirit lipstick. And then I'm going to go over it with a little bit of highlight from my Anastasia Glow Kit. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am running so, so late, so thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!